from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Victoria Beckham has trademarked the name of her five-year-old daughter Harper Seven Beckham. Now, she's not only growing up entitled, she's also now trademarked. The crime problem in Chicago continues, where 29 people were shot in less than 18 hours over the weekend. Yay, Chicago! We're number one! The Chick-fil-A in Folsom, California is asking that whoever stole their cow costume last week to please return it. Don't be chicken about returning it, they have no beef with you. Sylvester Stallone is suing Warner Brothers for allegedly cheating him out of profits from his 1993 movie Demolition Man. Y you know, I don't blame him. I mean, here we are 24 years later, and Sly is just barely making ends meet financially due to not being able to find a job. A Montana State University professor is suing Walmart for libel after he says an employee at the Bozeman store listed his occupation on a fishing license as a toilet cleaner. I got nothing for that. I just think it's hilarious. A three-year-old Missouri girl asked her parents for a poop-themed birthday party. Hey, good news! You can give this girl crap gifts and she has no right to complain. Uber says its bookings doubled in 2016, but it still lost $2.8 billion. Uh, have you guys considered maybe taking an intro to economics class? Nevada has introduced syringe vending machines to fight the heroin crisis there. So, so you're, you're fighting heroin by giving people easier access to tools used to do heroin. Oh yeah, I don't see any problem with that plan. It took new Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch less than 15 minutes on his first day to start asking questions. But the other justices didn't mind and quickly told him how to find the restroom. An eight-month-old baby in India has doctors baffled because he's already 84 pounds. I've seen pictures of the kid. Has anybody questioned the Michelin Man? The Navy is banning e-cigarettes from ships and aircraft because of reports of exploding batteries. As a side note, all e-cigarettes now come with free Samsung Galaxy Note 7s. An engaged couple was forcibly re-accommodated from a United Airlines flight over the weekend on their way to their own wedding. Man, you gotta wonder why anybody is flying United at this point. I mean, it's kind of like you deserve what you get now because you should have known better. A Texas woman trying to retrieve something out of her toilet ended up getting her hand stuck. So stuck, in fact, that police had to remove the toilet and carry it and the woman to the backyard. Police then used a hammer to gently break apart the toilet. Man, some people just cannot let a dropped toothbrush get away. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer says President Trump won't be releasing his 2016 taxes because of an audit. When asked if Trump will ever release his taxes, Spicer said that he'd have to get back to the press corps – in about eight years. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, be sure to leave a comment and say so. Hey, have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!